call money. And that anointing, you know, as we were watching that, I could really feel that anointing just coming, just coming, just coming. And even there where you are, the anointing is released. See, there's miracle money for you, even today and throughout this week. <laughs> miracle money is coming to you. These guys never cease to amaze me. Well, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, your miracle money anointing and unction that people have to sow into that unction, sow into that anointing, tap into that, that uh, miracle money anointing that you carry. Well, guess what? Let me, I have news for you. Listen, Africa, all your disciples, because those are not disciples of Christ. Your followers are disciples of you because they act like you, they talk like you. All they can do is release curses and threats because they copy from the father. You know, like a three-year-old child, if you, if you see a three-year-old child speaking and using words and termino terminology that you know is not, is not a vocabulary comma amongst that age group, the, the first thing you think is that child heard that from an adult. They copy from somebody. So all your disciples that come to my page and write nonsense, I don't, I don't feel angry at them because you know what? They're only copying from what they heard from their father. You are their father or their God. But look here, uh, Mr. Miracle Money. Now your, your second largest church branch that is in the UK, the Christ Embassy branch, because you have the largest branch in, I think the headquarters in Nigeria, but you have the second largest branch outside of Nigeria. It's in the UK. It just filed for bankruptcy. It's insolvent. It's going under. So I think you should tap and sow into your own miracle money unction and build your church out of bankruptcy unless you have no interest and desire to. In Africa, all of your disciples, I'm begging you, you guys are embarrassing us. Those dumb down brainwashed Africans that are following you guys and defending you tooth and nails. The people in the West are looking at us and they are laughing at us. They are wondering, does Africans have brains? That a two-year-old child in America can watch this video and see the stupidity and see the, the brainwash. The, a two-year-old child can look at your videos. Oyedepo, Adeboye, Olukoya, Oyakilome, Oresu Jefu. You mentioned Okafo, Joshua, Ngeli. You mentioned all the names. There's too many names. I don't know all. I can't remember all. But you know who you are. Johnson, Sulume, all of you. A two-year-old child can, uh, Bushiri, or whatever his name is, a two-year-old child can listen to your messages and see the madness and see the stupidity. But yet you got grown men with gray hair in their nose. They got gray hair on the knuckles. They have gray hairs in their ears and they can't see the stupidity in your message. They can't see the, the manipulation. They can't see the brainwash tactics in your message. But you got five-year-old kids that can see this message and laugh and say it's a joke. You guys are making us look bad. Africa, wake up, get some brains. You have suspended your brain, basic thinking, critical thinking. You have suspended. Please, you're making the entire continent look bad with your stupidity. Please, I beg you, wake up. If this man has so much an anointing to cause you to have miracle money, and all you got to do is call into his ministry and sow into his ministry, and then God will release miracle money into your bank account. You have simple common sense. You say, well, hold up, uh, Pastor Chris. I have a better idea. Instead of me sowing into your ministry so God can give me miracle money, let me hold on to my money and let God give you the miracle money directly. How's that? That's number one. Number two, he has the anointing for miracle money to appear to you in your bank account if you sow into his ministry. Well, right now, his branch in UK is insolvent. It's going under. It's filing for bankruptcy. It's filing. It's going bankrupt. So why don't I have his anointing for miracle money? It is time for it to work for him now. Let's see how much miracle money and anointing he has. Do you guys not see the stupidity? An anointing that's released that's working for you see something is happening something is happening see you're right something is happening god is shaking you guys territory he's shaking your kingdom god is cleaning up his house because for years you guys have manipulated you have brainwashed you have seduced you have raped the bride of christ financially emotionally physically economically you have destroyed the bride of christ how long should a man sit down and allow his bride to be bamboozled bushwhacked manipulated seduced fleeced and milked and he does nothing about it no god into fight for his bride and the fight has begun
That's all I can see. The money is released, whether someone was holding it, whether someone, it doesn't matter how, but that money is released. There's, there's money for you. Well, let's see how much money you got for you to open up your, your church. Because the UK branch is on, is on for bankruptcy now. Let's see. Where are all those people going to go? May God lead all those people from that church, your branch in UK, that is being foreclosed right now, bankrupt. May God lead all those people to pastors after his own heart. Father, send angels, armies of heaven, hosts of heaven, legions of heavenly hosts. Father, send the angels of God to take the hands of those people and lead them to pastors after your own heart. Let the scales of religious blindness and ignorance and stupidity fall off their eyes. Let every member of this church in the UK, this embassy church has gone down. Father, in Jesus' name, all the members of this church, may they have a radical Damascus road encounter with you. You know, Saul was on his way to do wickedness and he was arrested by God. He had a radical encounter from God that changed him. The skill fell off his eyes. He was thrown off his religious horse and he was led to a street called straight. Lord in Jesus name I pray, grant thee I pray that every member of Christ Embassy Church in the UK that is closing, let those members all of them have a radical encounter with you. That the skills of religious blindness, seduction, ignorance and stupidity will fall off their eyes. That you will knock them off that cult that is called Christ Embassy. You will throw them of the religious horse, oh God, and may you lead them to pastors after your own heart. That's my prayer for you. God bless you in Jesus' name. And all you charlatans, you know, you call yourself pastor, apostle, bishop, pope. Well, I call you witch doctors. You are nothing more than principalities in suits. Well, guess what? The ship called Titanic is going down. You know what the Titanic is, aka your business centers, or aka your franchises. AKA your shrines you call church is sinking and you can't stop it. It has begun and you stop, you try to stop God, he will bulldoze all of you.